Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side at 844-236-6010. If you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about the longevity products, the True Skin Health products, something you may have heard about or read about, or of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. And if we've left you on hold in the past, tell our call screener and we'll get you first up at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the program, or Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Ultimate EFAs, Ultimate Selenium, Ultimate Nightly Essence, the products I take, the products I recommend, you can head over to criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, criticalhealthnews.com, as well as pharmacistben.com and brightsideben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if you're an entrepreneur or if you're entrepreneurially minded or if the entrepreneur lifestyle appeals to you. If you like not having a boss, if you like making your own hours, if you like making as much or as little money as you want, you may want to think about being an entrepreneur, starting your own business, and Longevity makes it real easy to do for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a Longevity business, even if you don't want to start a business, if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. For a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Longevity team. You can join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470. They can give you the full scoop, and you can also sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with generous amounts of vitamin C, super generous amounts of vitamin C, up to 70% fat-soluble premium vitamin C in our Truth Skin Health products. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oil, water, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, you can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to the Bright Side, our number 844-236-6010, and we do have lines open for you. I want to continue talking about plant nutrition, so-called polyphenols and green tea, the world's most popular beverage after water, and its relationship to health issues. Green tea has got Benefits for folks dealing with cancer and weight issues and blood sugar issues. It's got topical health benefits. We've got lots more to say about green tea. On our last program, we were talking about PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is a female health issue that affects around 10% 10 of women of childbearing years. It's related to dysglycemia, that is messed up blood sugar. DYS means messed up, glycemia, blood sugar, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. 
Also, insulin resistance issues. As we said, PCOS needs to be regarded as an insulin problem, number one, and as an estrogen problem, number two. And we've talked about estrogen in the past and estrogen issues being related to the digestive system. If you have any estrogenic health issues, and that includes autoimmune diseases or PMS or reproductive health issues, Alzheimer's disease is also related to uh, estrogen, believe it or not. More women than men get Alzheimer's disease. If you're dealing with any estrogenic health challenges, you want to regard those as digestive health challenges, first and foremost. That's the missing link when it comes to female health issues. Estrogen is processed at the level of the intestine, the level of the liver. Most of us, if not all of us, once we reach a certain age, are going to have intestinal problems and liver problems, digestive health problems. So it makes perfect sense that estrogenic issues will uh, that we would have estrogenic issues as we get older, and indeed, PCOS is an estrogenic issue and an insulin issue. And, if estro and because estrogenic issues are digestive issues, there's your two points on the triangle of disease, the two bottom points on the triangle of disease. Estrogen being a digestive condition, blood sugar an insulin condition, those are your two points in the triangle of disease, and PCOS, like any other health challenge, like any other long-term chronic health challenge that doesn't get better, needs to be regarded as a demonstration of the primacy of the triangle of disease. The triangle of disease underlies all health challenges that are long-term and progressive, all of them. Digestion, blood sugar, and the adrenal thyroid complex, that's the triangle of disease. Now, keeping in mind that the best way to lower your blood sugar is not to eat the sugar, there are ways that you can stabilize your blood sugar using nutrition, particularly the B vitamins, particularly vitamin B3 and vitamin B1. That is niacin and thiamine. The ultimate niacin is a blood sugar lowering supplement. The ultimate niacin is a blood fat lowering supplement. The ultimate niacin is an anti-cholesterol supplement or a cholesterol-lowering supplement. Niacin helps the body process energy. All, we're ta all the things we're talking about here, even the triangle of disease, disease states, health challenges, the triangle of disease, it's all about energy. It's all about the body not processing energy correctly. It's all about the body getting an abundance of energy and not being able to handle that energy. That's really what disease is, folks, in a nutshell. It's an energy problem. We get too much energy and the body doesn't have an ability to handle it or doesn't have the wherewithal to handle it. Micronutrient supplementation, vitamins and minerals, making sure you're supplementing with vitamins and minerals, really is about helping the body process energy. So you've got two components in foods. You've got macronutri macronutrition or macronutrients and you've got micronutrients. That's what food basically is. Food is made up of macronutrition, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, fiber, and water. Those are your macronutrients. And then it's made up of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, and polyphenols and other trace nutrients, we'll call them. And it's this combination of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and trace nutrients, and macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and fiber and water, that make up what we call a whole food. A whole food is a food that has the perfect balance of macronutrients to micronutrients. A processed food is a food that has that balance destroyed. Now, when we, start, when we started processing food really 12,000 years ago with the advent of agriculture, but getting going at an at a accelerated pace 100, 150 years ago, we didn't really understand this relationship between macronutrients and micronutrients. We thought we could just process food and just eat the food and we'd be just fine. Well, it turns out we're not just fine because when you process a food, you get lots of the energy, but not the nutrients that help you utilize the energy. And because disease states, chronic long-term de uh, degenerative disease states, the kind of illnesses that affect 80% of Americans and that account for 80% of our health costs, and that's trillion, uh, over a trillion dollars, maybe even $2 trillion, trillion, that's a ridiculous number. It's all about energy. All of our health challenges are about uh, being unable to process energy. That's why micronutrient supplementation is so important. And that's why micronutrients that help the body process sugar, the densest form of energy in foods, is so important. And that's why niacin is so important. It's an energy processing nutrient, vitamin B3. It's your ultimate niacin for longevity. You can find out all about that one at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You are listening to The Bright Side. We will take a break You're and come back. Up. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. You can also purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Got blog posts and news stories up as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Serum, and our Truth Balm, all made with lots of vitamin C, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel is made with 5% retinol, the highest amount of retinol you are going to find in any over-the-counter product. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, wax, oil, silicone, water, emulsifiers, surfactants, nothing in our True Skin Health products that doesn't do something for your skin, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Any of our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so disease can be thought of as an energy processing problem. This is all chronic long-term degenerative diseases. I'm not talking about infections, and I'm not talking about mechanical trauma. I'm talking about metabolic diseases, that is chemistry diseases, where the body just, the health, the condition of the body just tumbles out of control. It gets worse and worse and worse. These are all basically based in problems processing energy. But we get too much energy in. We overeat. We overfeed especially the super high energy processed foods, sugary foods. We are rewarded mentally. Our brain secretes reward chemicals when we ingest these high energy foods. We feel happy when we eat these high energy foods. This is because for hundreds of thousands of years, there wasn't a lot of high energy foods around. So we developed through evolution a, a, a link between feeling good, emotionally good, happy, and ingesting high energy foods. Problem is, today we got tons of high energy foods. They're all over the place. And so we are, are facing a very unusual crisis from an evolutionary perspective. This is only the last 100, 150 years where we got too much energy. And the body doesn't know what to do with all that energy. So it stashes it away. First, it'll stash it in the liver. And then when the liver gets filled up, it'll stash it in fat. Fat is pro inflammatory. Fat secretes inflammatory chemicals. The more fat you're carrying, the more body fat you're carrying, the more inflammatory chemicals are floating around in your blood. It's all about energy. So using nutrients that help the body process energy is incredibly important for, handling, for helping the body handle blood sugar and for dealing with all chronic long-term health challenges. That is the B vitamins. We talked about niacin before we went to the break. Vitamin B3, your ultimate niacin, thiamine vitamin B1, all the B vitamins, selenium, chromium, vanadium, zinc, sulfur, and the ketogenic diet. Use the ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet is a high fat, low calorie, low carb diet. It allows the body to burn fat. It turns on fat burning chemistry. The ketogenic diet is super easy to do mechanically in terms of the process, but it's not so easy to do if you're addicted to sugar. However, once you get going with the, with the ketogenic diet, you're not going to want any sugar because you have so much energy. The same is true about fasting, by the way, and for that matter, calorie restriction. The reason fasting and calorie restriction and the low-calorie ketogenic diet work so well is they slow down the input of energy. They give the body a chance to catch up. They give the body a chance to use the energy that it has. If you're constantly streaming energy into the body, the body doesn't have an opportunity to use that energy. So it stashes it away. It stores it away. If you're trying to wean yourself off of these high energy foods, if you're, if you're trying to wean yourself off of sugar, but you're jonesing for sugar, you're addicted to sugar, then you can tell you're addicted to sugar if you're not hungry, but you still crave it. There's lots of strategies you can use. The micronutrients are a great strategy. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is a great anti-sugar uh, anti-sugar intake strategy. 
Likewise, the B vitamins. More protein can help, but keep, be careful with protein because protein gets turned into sugar. But more protein can help. More protein as opposed to carbohydrates. Just be careful with it. And if you really want to make sure that your body is using that protein and not turning it into sugar, get in the gym. Lift some weights. Do resistance training. More fat will help. The ketogenic diet. Use coconut oil. Butter. You should use butter and coconut oil. Every time you're cooking, use butter and coconut oil. You can do coconut oil out of the spoon. You can use ghee. G-H-E-E, ghee, which is a clarified butter. Super tasty. Right out of the spoon. Using fiber and water together can help uh, fill your belly up. If you fall off the wagon, using soluble fiber, chia seed fiber, can help mop up excess sugar. The amino acid glutamine is a sugar craving buster. If you are serious about lowering your intake of sugar, get a pound jar of glutamine for 30 bucks and do a half a teaspoonful or a teaspoonful every day, or even two teaspoonfuls every day. It's a great way to lower sugar cravings. And raising your serotonin levels without sugar. One of the reasons why we eat sugar or we, we ingest so much sugar is because it bumps up our serotonin. Serotonin is a coping neurotransmitter. It's a coping brain chemical. It helps the body cope with stresses. It's not a happy chemical. It's not a happy nerve chemical. Some people think that it has to do with happiness. It's not really about happiness. It's about coping. And we don't cope well with the stresses of life when our serotonin levels are down. Raising serotonin levels is a function of carbohydrate intake, and one of the reasons why we're addicted to carbs, just one of the reasons, there's a lot of reasons, just one of them, is we're trying to self-medicate to bump up our serotonin. So bump up your serotonin by going out in the sun. That's a great way to bump up your serotonin. Vitamin B6, pyridoxine, vitamin B6 can help. Niacin, vitamin B3 can help bump up your serotonin levels. Doing things like finishing a project, not procrastinating. These are things that, that can, both of those can help bump up serotonin levels. Using 5-HTP or tryptophan can help bump up serotonin levels. One of the all-time great and underappreciated strategies for lowering your blood sugar is to take advantage of apple cider vinegar. I absolutely love apple cider vinegar. And if you're a diabetic or a pre-diabetic, and it's 100 million Americans, it's one out of three of us, and maybe more, are pre-diabetic or diabetic, have blood sugar problems, use apple cider vinegar, especially at night, especially before you go to bed. According to an article published in the journal Diabetes Care, November 2007, vinegar ingestion at bedtime moderates waking glucose concentrations in adults with, quote, well-controlled diabetes. That means you drink some apple cider vinegar before you go to bed and you wake up in the morning with better blood sugar levels. And that's in folks who have well-controlled diabetes. Imagine if you don't have well-controlled diabetes. Extra benefits. Another article, this one published in September 2005 in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition, found that supplementing with vinegar before meals could lower glucose and insulin response and bonus. Increase satiety. That's a bonus. That means if you're filled faster. Drink some apple cider vinegar before your meals. It'll help your body stabilize your blood sugar, and you'll find yourself eating less. You'll be more satisfied and feel full by eating less food. That's apple cider vinegar, folks. Costs you pennies a dose. And you can make your own apple cider vinegar. You can make your own vinegar, too. It's real easy. We'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We will return with more good health information and your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Got lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. This is your common sense nutritional program. And health is common sense. This idea of medicating ourselves back to health is a disempowering strategy that puts, takes the power away from us and puts it in the hands of a medical model that could, at the end of the day, care less about the individuals it's supposed to take care of. I'm not talking about the doctors. I'm not talking about the individual doctors. I'm talking about the model itself. The institution of medicine, like all institutions, cares about itself and its perpetuation, its own perpetuation and aggrandizement. It doesn't care about us as individuals, but it doesn't matter because we don't need them. Not for chronic long-term degenerative diseases. You don't need a doctor for chronic long-term degenerative diseases. Sorry, doctor. Now, if you hurt yourself, you got a trauma or infection, or get hit by a bus, or 
something falls on your head, yes, you need to have some kind of medical intervention. But for long-term chronic degenerative diseases, it is not a doctor concern. It is a lifestyle, lifestyle concern. And one of the most powerful ways that you can restore yourself back to health, no matter what your health challenges are, is working on your blood sugars, focusing on blood sugar. Now, we'll talk tomorrow about uh, vinegar, using vinegar for blood sugar. We'll talk, continue talking about green tea for blood sugar, as well as for other things. Uh, there's all kinds of other benefits that you get from drinking green tea. And also, from uh, we'll talk about the um, blood sugar and overall health-inducing benefits of polyphenols that are found in coffee and polyphenols that are found in other uh, other other fruits and vegetables and, and uh, botanicals, spices and herbs, etc. We'll do that on, uh, tomorrow as, as we continue talking about the polyphenols and phytonutrients on the bright side. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here momentarily. A couple studies I want to talk about. Articles here I want to talk about. This is uh, from the. Gene Meyer USDA Human Nutrition Research Center on aging at Tufts University. Switching to a low glycemic diet, basically a low sugar diet, may stop age-related eye disease, study suggests. A study in mice finds that the development of age-related macular degeneration could be arrested by switching from starches, such as are found in white bread, to a low glycemic diet. Again, we see over and over and over again, the relationship between blood sugar and disease, elevated blood sugar and disease, and lowering blood sugar and health. If you have any eye problems, glaucoma, cataracts, macular degeneration, wet macular, dry macular, it doesn't matter. It's just dumb diagnosis, stupid designations. It doesn't matter if your macular degeneration is wet or if it's dry. It doesn't matter if you have macular degeneration or cataracts. It's the same thing. The body's breaking down. The eyes are breaking down. If you have any of these eye problems, you need to regard them as blood sugar issues. Not eye problems, blood sugar issues. I know it's counterintuitive. You say, well, these are my eyes. What's it got to do with my sugar? Well, once your sugar goes up, the attack on the tissues by that sugar, it's called glycation, G-L-Y-C-A-T-I-O-N, glycation, the attack on the tissues by the sugar progresses. And this is where eye diseases come from. Macular degeneration is just arthritis of the eyes, osteoporosis of the eyes, same disease, different place, same degenerative process, different part of the body. How do you deal with it? Low glycemic diet. That basically means reduce your intake of sugar. Glycemic, uh, high glycemic foods are basically your high sugar or your fast burning sugar foods. How to rain in the widening disease definitions that label more healthy people as sick. I love this. This is uh, from, uh, where this go? This came off of uh, uh, JAMA International Medicine, Journal of the American Medical Association. Apparently, by, by changing the numbers, we get more healthy people as sick, so they can sell more drugs by changing their test scores, by, by changing the, the, uh, the normal ranges. So osteoporosis is a classic example. Historically, osteoporosis was limited to people who had fractures, but over the last 10 or 20 years, we started to use bone mineral density scores. If you had a low bone mineral density score, you were considered to be at risk for osteoporosis. That means you get Fosamax. That means you get to be drugged. This is why I hate these tests, these diagnostic tests that everybody has to take. They're just playing around with the numbers. By lowering the numbers or by raising the numbers, they make pe more people sick. They do it with cholesterol a few years ago. They changed the normal value of cholesterol to a, a, a lower number so more people would require statin drugs. Reference values, reference ranges that determine whether we're sick or not or whether we're going to get dosed with medication or not or whether we're going to get coded in the insurance company's computer as being a patient or not are sneaky, nasty, statistical manipulations that get us, that are designed to, to integrate us more into the medical model. Go by your symptoms and how you feel, not by what the doctor tells you with some kind of diagnostic cutoff or threshold that determines whether you're diseased or not. Your diagnosis doesn't matter and your test scores don't matter. What matters is how you feel how well you see, how well your muscles work, how strong you are, how much energy you have, how well you're thinking, how creative you are. 
Those are, the, those are the markers that matter, and you don't need a doctor to tell you how creative you are. You don't need a doctor to tell you how much energy you have. We don't need to be doctored. We just need common sense nutritional strategies. All right, last thing, last study here, then we'll get your phone calls. Research opens the door for improved drugs for type 2 diabetes. Oh, wonderful. Now we have new drugs for diabetes, an eating disease, a lifestyle disease. Once again, you don't need a drug for diabetes. We need simply to change the way we eat and change the way we supplement. And I don't even like calling it diabetes. You know, diabetes is an official designation. If I were to tell you you can use the Sweeties for diabetes, I could lose my license or be fined or get kicked off the radio or somehow have to, have to explain myself to the government, to the FTC. So I'm not going to say diabetes. I'm going to say dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. The Sweeties will stable, help you stabilize your blood sugar. That's definitive. Chromium vanadium helps stabilize the blood sugar. Forget the, di the diagnosis. Forget the name of the disease. Let's just talk about dysglycemia. Messed up blood sugar. Chromium vanadium, by the way, also important for blood fats. Anything that helps you with blood sugar is going to help you with your blood fats and with your cholesterol. It's all part of the same thing. Cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood fats become elevated when we get too much energy coming into the body. By using nutrients that help the body process energy, we can lower all three of those, all three of those markers. Blood, uh, blood sugar, blood cholesterol, and blood fats. Niacin, chromium vanadium, selenium, omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium, Zinc, they all work to help with dysglycemia as well as lowering blood fats and blood cholesterol. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Idaho and welcome Wes to the bright side. Good morning, Wes. What's up, buddy? Hello, Ben. Hello, my Wesley. Qu my question and comment is about earthing our body besides being chemical, which is diet and supplements. It's also electric. It's Maybe. primarily electrical. It's not also electrical. It's primarily electrical. It's mostly, it is electrical. The chemistry only works because it facilitates electricity. We are a fundamentally electrical uh, beings. Uh, what? Uh, what? That's the music. Hang on. Hang on. That's the music. We'll get to you when we come back. Don't go away, Wes, okay? And if you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We will return on the bright side right after this break. Don't go away. All right, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. We're talking to Wes in Idaho. All right, Wes, what's going on, man? Earthing? Yes, that is uh, a medical ter uh, a term that uh, refers to a medical method of uh, grounding our body. See, the electrical body that you're talking about needs to be grounded to earth. And it was uh, pretty much until 1960 when we started putting rubber in the soles of our shoes and no longer did we get grounded like walking on grass or on the beach. And with this thing called earthing, you can buy some very simple devices and you can be grounded while you sleep or grounded while you sit at the computer inside of the house. My question was, do you know about this? thing called earthing. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a big believer in earthing. Now, it's not going to... The logic is, is that the earth streams out electrical energy, and you can get that electrical energy through your feet. And then uh, as that electrical energy enters into your body through the bottom of your feet, uh, it actually literally charges your connective tissue. The connective tissue, which is what we started talking about many months ago on the bright side, the connective tissue is like, it can be thought of as like a fiber optic electrical system that, that functions sort of like a battery that fuels the body with electrical energy. And that electrical energy, one of the sources of that electrical energy is the earth. And, uh, and you say uh, uh, starting in 1960, I don't know how you came up with that date as far as rubber soles went, but really when we started wearing shoes is really when that problem began. Walking barefoot is the best way to get that electrical energy into your body from the earth. Just walking in the grass barefoot. And, you know, everybody, hang on, just let me just say this, Wes. Everybody feels better 
when they walk barefoot. We, it, it feels good to walk barefoot. Now, it may be that your feet are sensitive because you've been wearing shoes all your life, and you know it's hard to walk barefoot on, on hard things like rocks, but everybody likes to walk in the grass barefoot. Why is that? Well, what is that sensation? Why is it that we like to walk barefoot in the grass? It's because there's electrical energy that's coming in to the body through the feet. So earthing is a tremendously valuable health tool. Whether it's going to completely change your life, I'm not sure about that. And sometimes people get, make exaggerated health claims and it makes things sound silly. It's not silly. You will notice you feel better when you're walking barefoot, when you're getting electric in the grass, when you're getting electrical energy coming in through your feet. Whether it's going to cure your cancer or eliminate your arthritis, I don't know about that. But I can tell you that you will feel better. According to a, There's a really cool book, by the way, called it's actually called earthing by Dr. Steven Sinatra, who's written a lot about heart health issues. He calls earthing or the earth as the original anti-inflammatory. And he says that uh, anti-inflammation can be achieved by uh, uh, facilitating the movement of electrical energy into the body through the feet. And it makes perfect sense. Another guy, Dr. James Oshman, who writes a lot about the connective tissue, that's O-S-C-H-M-A-N. Uh, he writes about the, uh, uh, the what they call the extracellular matrix, which is the stuff that the connective tissue sits in, as well as the connective tissue. And he's a big believer in earthing as well. So I find it to be a very helpful, potentially very helpful strategy for helping improve health, although I'm not going to go as far as to say you're going to eliminate disease states that are caused by toxicity or a lack of nutrition or a lack of oxygen. You just feel better when you uh, facilitate the movement of electrical energy into your body. By the way, this is what the negative ion if you've ever heard about negative ion generators or, or negative ions after it rains or negative ions which are present near the ocean. This is all about the same idea that, uh, that uh, we talk about when we talk about earthing. It's about helping the body absorb electrical energy. At the end of the day, Wes, as you pointed out, we are not chemical beings as much as we are electrical beings. And the chemistry of the body works because it facilitates electrical energy. It helps electrical energy be, be more effective. It helps channel electrical energy into the right systems in the body. So chemistry works because it facilitates the movement of elect or the, the, the functionality of electrical energy. At the end of the day, we are electrical beings primarily and chemical beings secondarily. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Wes. What were you going to say? Yeah. Yeah. There's also Dr. Mercola and Dr. Tent. I'm reading the book. Dr. Tennant, right you're now. talking about Jerry Tennant? Uh, I'm not sure. His first, no. Yeah, Dr. Jerry Tennant wrote a book called Healing is Voltage, and he actually has another book out, which I just bought, and I forgot the name of it. I think it has to do with acupuncture. And oh, by the way, acupuncture works pretty much by the same mechanism by facilitating the movement of electrical energy through the connective tissue. The book is called Healing is Voltage. It's very easy to recommend. And anybody who's interested in health, I highly, highly, highly recommend reading this book. Uh, Healing is Voltage. It's very, very easy to read. Back, Go ahead. Back to rubber sole boots. I'm reading the book Earthing right now, and it has a chart in it. And Which it book? Is it Sinatra's book? Dr. Sinatra's book? No, no uh, Ober, the guy that actually patented. Oh, name. Clinton Ober. Er, Clinton. Er, yes, correct. Uh, anyway, the book actually has a diagram, a diagram in it, in which it shows that in 1950, 1960, we started wearing rubber sole okay. shoes, and he compares it with diabetes two, and they go up directly together. The more of the rubber sole shoes that were sold and worn, diabetes 2 went up directly from uh, just 1 million cases in 1950 to now 25 million. Uh, there are other diagrams in there that show what happens when we actually connect with the earth, the changes in our blood under a microscope and infrared uh, uh, pictures. Uh, I, I would just like to hear you. Uh, I'm going to get the book. 
I'm going to take a look at. I'm going to get the book and take a look at, it, and then we'll talk about it. In- incorporate, you know, what you're saying. Uh, this uh, aspect, electrical, you know, our body's electric, uh, uh, included in you discussions about health. I think it's very important. It's going to change uh, everything in the medical field. Houses are going to be built along this line. Shoes. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Wes, I got I got to get going. Wes, I appreciate your input. Shoes, Th- leather shoes. Uh, allow Wes, I, Wesley, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go. I want to get to a couple more calls. I appreciate your input, though. Thank you so much, buddy. And that's a very good point. I'm gonna get that book and I'll and I'll we'll comment on it after I read it. Uh, it's called Earthing by Dr. Stephen Sinatra and a guy named Clinton Ober. If anybody out there is interested in checking it out, on in California. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Do we have on on? On? Are you on? On? Oh, uh, hey, I on. have a question about uh, my thyroid medication that is prescribed. Yes. It was le- uh, levothyroxine. Levothyroxine. Um, is that Dr. Medicine? Stupidity. Dr. Stupidity. All right, now well, levothyroxine I... will give you a little bit of hormone boost, maybe, maybe not, because it's the wrong kind of thyroid hormone. But the problem is the thyroid, not the thyroid hormone. You follow me? It's the uh-huh. gland. So what you got to do is you got to work on the gland. Giving yourself thyroid hormone when the gland is not working correctly is not going to help you, although you may get a little bit of energy from it, and sometimes you don't even get that. That's the best you're going to get out of, out of uh, uh, levothyroxine. Because it's, it's, go ahead. He wants me to take a thyroid medication. So is Ask him if he'll come on the radio. Ask your doctor if he'll come on the bright side with me. Uh-huh. So we'll have a little talk. We'll have a little chat with your doctor because I hate talking behind the doctor's backs. But the fact of the matter is, is if you have a hypothyroid problem, you have to go back to the triangle of disease. And you're not alone, by the way, with your hypothyroidism. Many, many people have this. Uh, It's the third point in the triangle of disease that needs to be regarded as, number one, a digestive health issue, number two, a blood sugar issue, and number three, an adrenal issue. So what do you do? First, you focus on digestive health on, first and foremost. That means the nightly essence. That means eliminating problem foods. That means calorie restriction. That means liquefying your foods. Second, you stabilize your blood sugar. That means reducing your intake of sugar, using nutrients that help the body process sugar, sweeties and ultimate niacin and selenium and more fiber and more water after your meals and apple cider vinegar. Do you hear me? Do you hear on and everybody listening? Do you hear us repeating? Over and over and over again, health is simple. Do not let your diagnosis or your doctor muddy the waters. This is what they want to do so we get so confused. We say, oh, what do I do? I take my levothyroxine. I take my Synthroid. I wait in line at the doctor's office, and nobody gets better. we got more doctors in this country than any other country in the history of the planet, and we're the sickest country. We're the sickest culture ever. It's okay, not a doctor issue, folks. It, on, I got yeah, I, we're just out of time on. If you call back tomorrow, uh, we'll get you first up. I apologize. I only got about 30 seconds here. And I, I, I it just, you guys, it's not that complicated. Triangle of disease, digestive system, blood sugar system, adrenal fibroid complex, you will get better. Get yourself on a supplement program, too. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. Uh, if you want to check out our longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com, or call 866-735-2470. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.